G'day guys, well here we are, first flight with the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI and as you can see I'm pretty damn excited about it to see just how well this mount here performs. Now I'm going to be using the Skywatcher Evilux 62 ED uh, refractive telescope with my Astro Modded uh, Z7 tonight and uh, yeah I cannot wait to see exactly how this here performs. I don't know what I'm going to image yet so while I wait for it to get a bit darker I I think I'm going to go start planning exactly what I'm going to be imaging tonight and how I'm going to be doing it. Alright, well I'll report back to you as soon as it gets a bit darker. Well, as you can see it is now dark enough to start imaging. So while I was waiting for the sun to go down and the moon to come out I decided to try something a little bit different and that was disassemble my my twin rasses so I hope you guys appreciate the effort I've gone to here and I've got my Eagle 4 computer mounted onto the bottom of the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI and then above that I've got the, uh, the Skywatcher Evilux 62 ED with the um, uh, 62 ED uh, field flattener reducer and the reducer is about a um, 0.95 I've worked out um, and on the back of that obviously my, my Z7. Now the reason for this is because I wanted to try and see if we could use this little GTI mount pretty much like a big mount you know so what we're going to do and what I have been doing is I've got it all communicating um, through the mount via Nina and the SynScan um, Windows app. So here we go, we're all connected on Nina and I'm about to slew to eat Karina and, uh, and take a photo. So let's go. I mean, how good is this little mount? Essentially, it's it's just the most portable go-to mount I've ever come across. And the fact that you can image with a setup like this, I mean, I don't have my guide scope on, but um, with a real lightweight guide scope, uh, I'd say you should be able to incorporate that. And the fact that I'm using uh, an Eagle 4 computer uh, with this as well, and there's no power going to the mount, I'm only running off of AA batteries. So, <laughs> this is this is blowing my mind. And as you can see, I'm having a lot of fun here tonight. This is the first night of this setup. So I'm not expecting it to go perfectly well because I still need to get familiar with it. Um, but, it's so good. And we are centered in on ETA. So I'm going to shoot some images and uh, see how they uh, turn out. Well, what a uh, fun night it's been. Um, just finishing up taking some more images here of uh, Eta Karina with the uh, Skywatcher um, Star Adventure GTI. And it's, it's not often you get so excited and overwhelmed by a, a new toy, a new system um, that you just, you feel like a little kid again, you know? And, uh, and that's what I love about uh, astrophotography and that's what I really enjoy with this mount. It's, it's so cool, it's, it's so different, it's so portable and uh, I can see a lot of people getting into astrophotography probably using this mount. And also I can probably see a lot of experienced astrophotographers going out there and buying this mount because it might fit that real, that, that area that they've always wanted to have a real portable sort of system um, and uh, yeah I can't believe this is <laughs> this is it all right as you can see I'm, uh, I'm getting a bit tongue twisted and uh, and probably because I'm just just so um, so excited and uh, <laughs> I've been just having a ball with this, uh, this little mount here um, but I am going to pack it up the moon is shining uh, quite heavily above us. It is a full moon, 
so I'm not going to go too extensive in imaging uh, tonight, but it's, it's great to see that um, the mount can be connected up to some computer software and be controlled um, with software like Nina. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I guess the next step would be um, putting a guide scope up to it and using the guiding um, aspect but that will be for a different night because this mount here does need to get packed up go back to Skywatcher Australia so a big thank you for uh, to Skywatcher Australia for letting me um, review and then use this mount for uh, a couple of nights well one night um, yeah hopefully I can uh, get it back um, again or my own version um, arrives once that uh, yeah, comes in Australia because I've pre-ordered that and, uh, and yeah, I can dive a little bit more deeper into into things. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you would like to know a bit more about the uh, Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI. All right, so uh, yeah, that's it for me. Big thank you to all my members. Um, big shout out to you guys. Uh, without your support, uh, this this channel probably uh, wouldn't be going in the direction it is. Anyway, I am like a kid in the candy store, so I best go. Alright guys, take it easy. See you.